Hello guys, welcome to Trust um, today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video guys. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make use of TikTok application on your PC. So previously I've been making so many videos about TikTok on the mobile version, but I decided to show you guys today's video on how to make use of TikTok on your PC. So if you're making use of um, TikTok, if you want to make use of TikTok on your PC, it's as simple as type TikTok and then dot com and hit enter on your keyboard and wait for it to um, load up. It's going to take a while and it, it will load up this particular area. So um, um, if you have a bigger screen, yours might also be bigger. And you can notice there are even more ways to watch TikTok. You can actually pause the video right there. You can click it to um, to make it bigger. And you can also, um, if you want to make it smaller, when you click on it the second time, it pause the video. If you want to make it smaller, go ahead and click on this X icon to close it. But if you want to interact, like leaving a comment, sharing the video and doing um and probably uploading video to the content all you need to do is to log into the application you notice on this top area where it has login right go ahead and click on the login on the top right area so that it will display the login section so on the login section you can click on this use um qr code to make use of the qr code right from your mobile open your mobile click the profile click on the menu on the profile section and then you're going to see an option to use the QR code. Um, so click on the QR code and then um, swipe left and you're going to notice on the top area there is this um, minus icon on the top right area. Click on that and you'll be able to scan the QR code. So when you click on this particular section, it will display the QR code. So just hover it on the screen to scan it, but I'm not going to do that on today's video. So I'm going to navigate back. So um, if you are actually um, yet signed up for the um, TikTok application, you can click on the sign up section right here, or you can sign up making use of your Facebook profile, or you make use of your Gmail, your Twitter, and if you are making use of um, a Mac, you can make use of continue with Apple or probably Instagram, whichever one you want. But I think I'm okay with making use of my username, my phone number, or my email. So I'm going to click on this section. If you are making use of your username, automatically it's going to pick in the country location where you are. And then you can put your phone number right here. And then it's going to, you have to, after putting your phone number, it's going to send a code to your phone, which you have to enter in this device. But for my case, I'm going to click on login with username and email. And previously I have logged in. So I'm just going to click on login so that it will be able to log in my email and password, which is already entered. You can see them right there. So um, when you initiate the login, it's actually going to always send you an OTP to your phone, which they just sent me right now. And usually it's a four digit number right now. So maybe if it changes in the future, fine, but this actually almost doesn't change. So go ahead and enter the code that was sent to you and then click next. Um, usually if you notice there is a countdown timer right here, once it reached zero, that particular code have expired and you need to wait for the next um, code to be sent to you. So, um, so this is actually playing just like the mobile used to play. And you notice, right, um, there is a bit different from making use of TikTok while logged in and making use of TikTok while um, logged out. Um, you notice right there, this there is something a bit different. Let me show you guys on a new tab. Let me open a new browser and type in TikTok. I hope the internet is now faster. So I'm going to type in tiktok.com and then hit enter. So it's going to load for a while and then display. Um, wait for it. Oh, wait. I think I made a mistake. This is tick. Oh, whoa. I added extra I behind. I didn't notice. Okay. Um, I hope nobody <laughs> sees that. So you notice um, right here, it's a bit different from the previous one. And previously it was a bit uh, bigger and you notice there is some icon right there. So it's a bit different from when you are logged in and when you are not logged in. So also if you click on this get application, it's actually going to ask you to scan to download it on your device. And also if you want to download it on um, from the store, which is probably either Amazon store or 
um, Microsoft Store, you can choose any one and it start downloading. But I'm not interested in adding that to my application. I'm very okay right here. So if you want to see the people you are following, you can click on following or you can click on live to see who is actually live. But if you just want to enjoy the um, short video streaming platform, just scroll down and the video the will episode. always be playing. Um, the video is all, always playing on auto. So when you scroll, it plays and plays regularly, just like normal. But it might not be as fast as your mobile is because on mobile is actually saving the catch of the device. So guys, there are so many things I want to show you guys, but um, I do not want this video to be very long. And so I'm going to take some time to just run this up very, very quick. So on this top area, if you want to upload a video, click on this upload section and you'll be able to upload your videos. And actually you can upload up to 10 minutes video on your desktop version. This is actually like a new thing. So I just click on the upload section and it's actually going to display um, and start uploading my video but uh, i think for some reason my internet is a bit slow so it's taking it some time now you notice the upload section is a bit different from what it is on the mobile video and you can now notice that this is the resolution required resolution for the upload for your video and everything is right there this is the cover you can easily upload cover you notice it says public and also friends only or probably private and then uh, you notice everything actually is still on the mobile but is a bit different and you can also add tag and hashtag right there and then when you click on this message section it's probably the people you have sent message to and they are all going to be displaying right here um i've already covered that on my previous video so these are the people that i have sent message to this person is the last person i sent message to so when you click on it your chat with the person displays i do not want to click on that so and then on this message or this inbox area this is actually where your notification is but for some reason instagram um tiktok actually called it inbox so when you click on this inbox section it's going to show you the notification section from a new like or a new comment that um, might actually be related to you either you left a post and then someone left a comment on your post or you left a post and it was liked all of them are all going to be displaying right here and also if there is a new follower it's also going to be displaying on this particular section and then on this area you can see your profile section you can see your analytic and the settings and also you can change your language settings to probably a different language and it will automatically translate it to the language so i just selected um an arabic i think that is an arabic language and it just um translated everything for me to arabic and really i i think everything went the other way around let me go ahead and change that back i hope i see english easily okay this is english thank god so um this is just how to do all of these things and i hope this guy this is very helpful to you guys and i'm going to be making more video for the desktop version i hope um i'm going to be able to do all of that and if this video is helpful please smash like subscribe to subscribe to the channel and I'm going to see you on my next video. Stay safe, guys. And peace.